Absolutely, I think in this generation, there are a lot of people who are always looking for instant gratification. If they want something, they want it now. So let it be in the name of drugs, alcohol. Instead of identifying the root of the actual problem, they try to make themselves feel okay for now. So it's not only drugs and alcohol, people are addicted to sex, people are addicted to masturbation. So how do they overcome something like this? How do they overcome this kind of an addiction? Huge, uh, huge problem in the society. Okay. Um, Amar, first of all, uh, when you ask me this question, you're talking about alcohol, you're talking about drugs, you're talking about marijuana, all those things, and you're comparing that with sex. Now, first, let me be very clear. The physical attraction between a man and a woman, we call it sex in this world, is a natural thing. It's a natural phenomenon. Whereas alcohol, smoking, drug, and all these things are not natural. It's all man-created things. You know, first, there is there has to be a clear demarcation between these two things. Now, sex is not bad. Sex is not trouble. First of all, the society should understand this clearly. This is where the problem starts. Now, everybody is clubbing the physical relationship along with all these things. You know. First, have a clear demarcation between these two. If physical attraction is wrong or sex is wrong, means that you and me would not have been born here. This is quite natural. When a child is born, uh, till uh, the child reaches the age of 14 or 15, which you call as a teenager, there is no attraction there. Only when it reaches the age of 14 or 15, this biomagnetic energy which is there in the in the in the sagasra, technically I'm talking, it moves to Muladhara, the lowest chakra. When that particular energy moves there uh, for a male, then automatically that pulls the female energy. And the female energy is getting attracted to the male energy. This is quite natural. Without which the existence won't exist. You can't see a plants, you can't see animals, you can't see insects. Everything in the whole existence, the male energy is attracted towards the female energy. It is quite natural. And it is nothing wrong in it. Now the problem here is the moment you declare it, it is a wrong thing and you need not talk, you should not open this mouth, this is very wrong and everything. Now, now, the natural body, there is an instinct and of attraction is there. Now, I am not supposed to talk and I am not supposed to express. Now, you go through a turmoil. Now, there is a suppression. Now, I have this, the hunger is there and I have this urge is there and the attraction is there. Now, I am not supposed to talk about this. Now, all I have to do is my instinct says something. My conscious mind says the society is completely, you know, stopping you from expressing this or talking about this. Now, I am going through a suppression. Now, I need to suppress the whole thing and I, I need to pretend as if I don't have this hunger. Now, this is where the problem starts. Now, the moment the suppression goes, the urge becomes very high. Anything, any emotion, any desire, if you try to suppress, it will blast like a nuclear bomb. Suppose if you get angry now, if anger comes, you need to show that anger. The emotion has to spit it up. If you start suppressing the anger, one day or rather, you're going to blast like a nuclear bomb, isn't it? If right now you are hungry, you want to have a brian. If I don't give this food right now, and I say, okay, I'm, I'm going to give this food only after three hours. You know, three hours, you'll be thinking, when will I get this? When will I get this? When will I get this? Even after three uh, hours, if I, you'll be expecting the biryani to come to you. And after three hours, if I say, no, Amar, I'm going to give you this biryani only tomorrow morning, it's finished. You're going to die. And you're, you're not going to talk to me. Every moment, your mind will be full of biryani. But the moment you have the desire and you have eaten that, now you settle down. After that, you don't think about that. Now, the problem is, sex or physical attraction is not the problem. But thinking about it all the time is a problem. Now, when will you think about biryani? Only when you have a desire and if you don't fulfill it and when you don't sub when you start suppressing it, it will just kill you, kill yourself. Now this becomes a perversion, and this leads to all kinds of problems in the society. And uh, 
now coming to the point masturbation is one way of exerting love now 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 you want to uh, you have this urge now you cannot express it uh, you don't have the right situation and you're not in a position to express it now you start suppressing it and when you suppress it it bursts like anything so now you get into masturbation now masturbation is is a way of fulfilling you know without any external support first of all don't think that masturbation is wrong in a way it is better than suppressing it and I want to tell you the whole world, there is nothing harm in doing it. Don't feel guilty about it. First thing is, come out of this guilt first of all. It is nothing wrong, it's absolutely fine. And a lot of people think that their health is getting affected. No, absolutely not. Even if you, if you don't, you know, masturbate consciously, unconsciously everything comes out of you. Your body exerts that automatically during the sleep and during different ways. So if you consult a proper, a genuine doctor, they will be able to guide you properly. I am not going to, uh, you know, give a huge class about it. But one simple common sense. First of all, let's understand and respect the physical relationship it is beautiful and it is not wrong. It is the nature's law. How can a nature's law be wrong? You know, smoking is what we created. That is not good for health. Now, uh, having drugs is what man created. That is hurting you. But, you know, this physical attraction or sex doesn't hurt anything. In fact, it fulfills everything. It nourishes a woman. It nourishes a man. Man becomes complete only when he, when he goes through this. Otherwise, you know, his whole life is into mental health. It is the other way. In that way, in Hindu culture, uh, it has been treated in a very sacred manner. You know, the moment uh, you know they fix the marriage of a, of a male or female, they call it in Tamil, they call it Subha Muhurti. And uh, the first time when the male and female come together, you know, it doesn't happen just like that. They find out, they go to the astrologer and they find the right date and time and everything. It has to, the union has to happen properly. It's a divine thing. And uh, it is a big ritual in the Hindu culture and uh, they treat it so sacredly. That's what, how the olden days, you know, it had. It has become like a more like a ritual. People forgot the science behind it and they started, you know, uh, looking at it in a very ugly manner. First, this understanding has to come. This maturity has to come. Let's, it's time, let's talk about this casually and try to understand it in the, in the, the real sense. And if a person truly understands this, uh, this fantastic, you know, science of the union between the male and female energy, mind it, I'm talking about the male and female energy, it's not the body. It's a big science by itself. You cannot, you know, explain it in just three minutes. At first level, at level one, the union happens at the physical level. At, when you, when you go beyond the physical thing, then you move to a psychological union happens. And when you are fully aware during that moment, psychologically, then you move to a third dimension. The union happens at the soul level. Then it is no longer sex. It's a completely, uh, you move to samadhi. Now this is nature's beautiful way of taking you to the ultimate. This is the first step, or I would say the taste of divine which the nature has given to the world. How can you call it wrong? First, this understanding should come to all the people. And the moment the understanding comes, then you know, don't look at it as a, as a wrong thing. Now, this is the first step towards coming out of this. Now, with this approach, with this understanding, if a person approaches, he will naturally come out of it. He will go through, he will, he will move beyond that. Anything which you suppress, you cannot come out of it. You get entangled. This is the fundamental. If I give you, if I, if I give you all the food, and if I tell you any food you can eat, if I am giving you everything, you will not eat. But the moment if I start restricting you, all the time you will be thinking about only food. This is human mind. So you need to understand how the human mind works and what is this. There is no proper education on these things. 
I would say there has to be a formal proper education about this whole beautiful concept of physical relationship of both sexes, which is not there. Unfortunately, it was there earlier days, but over a period of time, it has become a big taboo. God knows, you know, thanks to all the society laws and everything. Now, this is one of the main reasons why all the the, community, the the violence towards women is happening in and around is only because of lack of understanding. Nothing else. Nothing is going to get reduced if you're going to simply punish the people who are doing all these crimes. You need to have a clear understanding. Only that will save the society. And that will bring harmony towards man and woman. You understand? That's all. Whenever I walk into a classroom as a life skills trainer, Guruji, this is what I feel also. I talk to the students openly about everything. I talk to them about sex openly because, like you said, Guruji, I don't want it to be something taboo for them. It's something that they have to be able to talk about. They have to realize it's something natural. The more they suppress it, the more their parents or the society tries to suppress them. That's when it explodes and becomes a huge monster, like you're mentioning. It's very true, Guruji. Thank you very much for that answer. I think it's something that people have to really talk about so that a lot of crimes against women, like you mentioned, can lessen and it becomes very natural.